My boyfriend is running his life to zero trying to become a streamer, and there's nothing I can do to stop him. Posted by you slash extra French toast. My boyfriend, 29M and I, 24F, have been together for roughly five months. For Christmas, one of my gifts was an Xbox. A while back, I was reading something out loud to him from a gaming news site, and I mentioned that Ninja makes something like 500k a month on Twitch. Since learning this, he has wanted to become a streamer. Now every time he plays a game, he streams it. I stated in my title that he's trying to become a streamer, but he really isn't trying at all. He's just streaming what's on his screen from his Xbox with no face cam or even a mic. He told me he's really shocked he doesn't have many viewers. I gently tried explaining to him that streaming slash YouTube is all about your personality, but to no avail. He's also really camera shy and doesn't even have many pictures of himself over the years, to the point where his mother gave up on trying to get him into family photos. So I don't understand how being a streamer would even work for him or why he thinks it's a good idea. He also sits very quietly, muttering an occasional F-bomb as he plays video games. The popular streamers he's trying to emulate have natural humor and commentary, and he just doesn't have it, if you know what I mean. He even mentioned that I should start streaming because I'm pretty good at some games. I laughed it off and said I have no interest. In a past relationship, I was called negative, so I didn't want to just rain on his parade. For some background, he's in school to be an architect, has a good union job, and gets paid pretty well. So it can't just be about the money. This week, I was out doing errands, and he said he was going to pick up his laundry and the groceries for me to cook dinner before I got there. When I did arrive, he was sitting in his room in boxers, streaming for no viewers, and the laundry and groceries still hadn't been picked up, even though it had been about six hours. This really pissed me off, but I didn't say anything. He doesn't usually play video games for that long, but now it's all he does in his spare time. We have a trip to Japan coming up in June, and now he's talking about buying equipment for his stream, expensive equipment. I've had my money for the trip put away for a month, but he still hasn't started saving for it. I'm afraid he'll spend money on equipment and our trip will fall apart. The other night, he happily told me that he has one dedicated viewer who watches every time he streams. What he doesn't realize is that Twitch counts you as a viewer when you start the stream, so the follower he's talking about is actually himself. I just didn't have the heart to tell him because I know how embarrassing that would be. It's become a point of annoyance every time I hear the word streamer. Any advice here? Or should I just let this Twitch dream fizzle out without my input? Commenter. Hey, just wanted to chime in as a man who watched his 30-year-old cousin fall down the rabbit hole of video games and mental illness. I'll preface this by saying there's absolutely nothing wrong with wanting to decompress after a long day at work, just to sit back and unwind. For some people, it's a godsend. Hell, I'll play them with my kiddo sometimes. But when you begin to abuse it, video games, that is, or really anything, that's when the problems start developing. See, for my cousin, he had just gotten out of a relationship. I had convinced him that he should invest his money into a gaming PC, not thinking it would literally change his life. First, it started out with him playing these innocent MMOs, Star Wars. It was cool, we bonded, played for a while, and that was that. But then he started obsessing over this new universe. I would call him, and he'd be on this game. I'd text him, and he'd still be on this damn game. After a while, I just stopped talking to him because literally the only thing he'd talk about was that effing video game. He would play from the time he got up to the time he went to bed. 16 hours a day. 16 hours he would play Star Wars. A few years had passed, and I went to visit him, and I was utterly disgusted with what I saw. Effing dog crap on the floor, just left there. He was smoking in the house, with two liter bottles of Mountain Dew overflowing his garbage can. I saw him step over the dog crap while heating up leftover hot pockets. I just couldn't believe it. He had developed agoraphobia during this time and absolutely refused to leave the house. It got worse to the point where he wouldn't even go outside to socialize with his friends or go to the store because he'd lose his mind if he was outside for any significant length of time. It got so bad that he didn't even attend the funerals of his own grandmother or grandfather, who lived 10 minutes from him. It was, and still is, effing pathetic. He's a complete loser in my eyes. No job, no kids, no social circle outside his virtual avatar on whatever game he's obsessed with. He doesn't acknowledge family birthdays or even send a text. His only form of income comes from the enablement of his father, but that's not relevant. Video games completely f my cousin's mind. I would honestly compare it to illicit substances, it can get that bad. Once someone has gone too far down, it's useless to try to snap them back to reality. Update two days later. Some of you may not have been around to read the comments after I posted this, but I provided more details on the situation that I didn't initially mention when a Redditor, who has since deleted their comments for the sake of privacy, related to me and explained how someone they knew was the same way and seemed to have a video game addiction. Their experience eerily mirrored mine. You can read my responses here. Yesterday, after work, I had to rush home to deal with some family matters, 
so I didn't get a chance to sit down with him and talk, except for a five-minute phone call and briefly passing him at work. Today, however, my path was clear, and I was determined to speak to him about this. After waking up and showering, I checked the Xbox app and saw that he was last online 30 minutes ago at 7 a.m., which means, once again, he didn't sleep at all. I didn't contact him. His day off was today, and he called me at 3 p.m. to say that he had just woken up. I could hear Overwatch in the background, and he asked how my day was going. Then, before I could respond, he angrily said, Why the F won't this guy get off Hanzo? He effing sucks. I had a client approaching me, so I swiftly hung up. I called him back after work while I was walking home and decided to start with small talk before getting to the subject I was leading to. I didn't even have a chance to start before he asked why I was slightly out of breath. I told him it was because I was walking through snow up a hill. He said, It's snowing? It had snowed heavily for quite a few hours. His place is set up so that you can't enter the hallway to the kitchen or the front door without seeing outside. He hadn't even looked out of his window at all today and had spent the entire day in his bedroom playing video games. This snapped me into asking if he was planning to do anything else with his life besides playing video games. He said, of course, just not right now. He hadn't showered or eaten at all today, I asked, and he admitted it. I asked him if he thought that was healthy, and he replied with an edge, what? Playing video games? Of course. Am I effing smoking meth or something? I clarified what I meant and decided to say it directly, I told him I think he has a problem. The skipping work, not sleeping or eating, and the sheer amount of hours he dedicates to playing. He then did what most addicts do, got angry and spun it back on me. He said that I was the one who bought him the Xbox in the first place, what the F did you expect me to do with it, and that I've been playing video games long before we were together, my Xbox is mostly used as a Netflix machine and for playing Overwatch or the Dark Souls trilogy on weekends. I told him that I don't obsess over games or skip meals to play, and that I never would have bought it for him if I had known this is what it would lead to. He got angry and asked if I called just to harass him. I said I called to speak with him and share my thoughts over the past few months. He called me crazy and said, everyone plays video games. To whoever suggested that the streaming was just a decoy and an excuse to play video games all day, you were absolutely right. He feels justified in doing exactly that as long as he tells me there's a goal behind it all. I told him that my mind hasn't changed and that I think he has a problem and should speak to someone. He didn't respond to this. I then said that I don't feel we have anything more to really discuss, and I can't spend my time worrying about him. I feel like I might get hate for this, but I won't budge on it. He is not my child, and I can't force a grown man to eat or go outside. I've done my research and slept on it. Many people PM'd me and commented to share their stories about dealing with a loved one with video game addiction or being in his shoes themselves. This is not a battle I want to fight. He's not the person I met last year. He responded in a very mellow voice, saying he knows he's been inattentive and would like a chance to make it up to me. He said he wanted to go on a date tomorrow. I declined, and he started rambling about how perfect I am for him. I once thought the same. He kept going, saying I'm being ridiculous, and started listing things he could be doing instead of playing video games, such as, I'm not a drinker, I don't cheat, etc. I'm sad because, before we dated, he really was a good friend. I told him that I was almost home and had to go. He stayed quiet for a while and then said okay. The fact that the video game noises didn't stop during the entire phone call didn't go unnoticed by me, he only lowered the volume, but not enough. I didn't bring it up because I don't think he would have gotten off even if I had asked. We hung up, and that was that. Fortunately, I only see him in passing at work, and I will now make sure not to see him at all. It's a huge building, so it won't be hard. I'd also like to note that I received some very unpleasant PMs, calling me an absolute BTCH for not supporting him in playing video games, and saying that I'll regret everything when he becomes a famous streamer. Some even suggested that I only care about him skipping work and potentially being fired because I'm in it for his money. I'm prepared for more of those messages now that I've decided to walk away. And I am still going to Japan.